hello and welcome to this new video in this video we are going to install and configure nfs server and create an nfs share creating an nfs share is an efficient uh, way to share a directory to other client machines in your uh, organization or network so let's get started the first thing you need to do is open the server manager if you haven't already open I already have it open here as you can see or you can click on the start button and search for server manager for me I can see it here then click on add roles and features click next on the wizard in the select installation type select uh, role based or feature based installation and then click next select the server you want to install nfs on and then click next for me i'm going to install it on this uh, same server but you may want to install it on a different server on the on this page select server roles expand file and storage services right here and then expand file and iSCSI services then check the box against server for NFS which is down below this one server for NFS and a pop-up window will come forth in the pop-up window just click on add features then click next in this select features page just click on next because we are not going to install any features other than the nfs parole so click next confirm the role that you want to install and then click install to install it this is going to take probably a few minutes to install When the installation finishes, you will see here installation succeeded. Click on close to close the installation uh, wizard. Now let's configure an NFS share folder. What you, what you need to do next is create a directory or folder in your desired disk partition. For me, I'm going to create a uh, folder, folder called my share in the C partition so I'm going to go to the C partition then this create a folder here that I'm going to call my share then go to the uh, server manager go to file and storage services and select shares after that click on the tasks drop down menu and select new share tasks new share and a new share wizard is going to open on the first page of the wizard select nfs share quick and click next so it's this one nfs share quick and click next on this page choose a type a custom path this one and then browse for your directory and click next so i'm going to to you uh, to choose the directory that I have created here my share so it's going to be this one and click select folder and then click next give your share a name for me I'm going to leave it my uh, share which is the same as the folder uh, name 
then click next and as you can see here this this is going to be the remote path to my shell my server name colon slash my share so click next on this screen you are going to be uh, asked to specify the, the authentication methods to this share depending on what uh, you want to do choose the one that benefits your use case and then click next for me I'm going to go with no server authentication because this is just a tutorial a test and then enable unmapped access and allow unmapped user access by user ID slash group ID and then click next on this screen you will be asked to choose the host uh, that can access this share click on add and here you can uh, specify a host that can access uh, this share but for testing purposes I'm going to say all machines and then do read write uh, uh, permissions for all machines and then click add but remember this is just a test you, this is not probably this is not what you want to do in production okay then click next you can uh, customize the permissions to uh, to benefit your uh, use cases and when you finish click next for example here the creator and owner has full control the built-in uh, users have special access uh, the built-in they also have read and execute uh, access administrators have uh, full control and anti-authority also has full control so you can customize uh, these permissions I'm, I'm going to leave this to default and then click next on this screen you, you will be asked to confirm that uh, the following are the correct settings that you want to have for your share so if it is the case and you are sure that this is what you want to do click create to create the share it's going to take a few uh, seconds to complete and it is uh, and if everything was correct you will see that the share was successfully created click close to uh, finish the creation of the share if you want to confirm that the share has been created successfully you can go back to the server manager shares and you will see that your share is created and you can see how much uh, space is free and how much has been used at any given moment you can come here and then right click on the share and stop it to stop sharing or click on properties and change the properties of the share for example you can change the authentication uh, like adding Kerberos authentication for example you can change uh, the permissions you can change the NTFS uh, permissions so this is possible at any given moment so I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching